Hello, my friends. What's up, my people? How are you? Today we are doing an empties, girl, with special guest appearances. My mom, baby, girl. So, who? Oh, hair. 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 You ever, like, those of you that have dogs, when you go to a restaurant and you, like, find hair in your food, are you like, is that, could it, did that come off of me? Or <laughs> is that, like, theirs? Nine times out of ten, it's usually off of me. So, anyways, today we are doing an empty, oh shit, it's all falling down. I got this little Sephora bag, and it's full of shit that I plan on throwing away because it's empty, you know, hashtag YouTuber, whatever. Anyways, it's empty, and I brought it with me when I moved with the full intention of doing an empties video like this one you see here. Well, that obviously didn't happen, girl, so I was cleaning my room up and kind of, really? Every time I try to film, I feel like my dogs are like, oh, you're filming? We need to go to the bathroom thing. So I was cleaning my stuff out and preparing for my next declutter, and I found this bag, and I was like, what am I still doing with this? I need to fucking do an empty so I can, like, throw this shit away. Because who keeps trash around other than, like, weird-ass YouTubers? Am I right? Okay. So this, as you can tell by the tattoo, is solely skincare and makeup, nothing else. Some of this stuff is empty, some of this stuff, I'm just throwing the fuck away, girl, because it's real old. Okay, I'm gonna have to go let my dogs out, because they're gonna bug the fuck out of me if I don't be RB. All right, they are about as calm as they're gonna get, so let's get into this. Also, I just wanna throw out there that shitty sound quality, shitty sound quality, because I'm in my living room, there's like no light in my filming room right now. It's real dreary and gloomy outside. But can I also mention that it's 36 degrees outside right now in Ohio, and it feels like fucking summer, okay? <laughs> Especially compared to what we had last week. All right, let's get into it. I got a little trash back in here to put everything into when I'm done and get it the fuck out of my life. As I was saying, I think I said this, I'm not really sure. Uh, skincare and makeup. Some of the stuff is, you know, I'm just throwing it away because it's gross. And then some of the stuff I've used up. All right, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Let's just, let's just do it, let's just do it. First thing on the list is this Garnier Skin Active New Soothing 3-in-1 Moisturizer Day Last Night Mask. 96% naturally delivered ingredients. I don't know what's in this, but it made me break the fuck out. So I did actually end up using all of it. I used it on my bidet because it is like, girl, it is the thick of the thick cream. Look at this. It's like a super dense cream, which I am just gonna go ahead and intelligently assume that that's probably why it broke me out because it's just like thick cakiness caked up on my face, like cake face. The next few things are items that I may or may not have a pet peeve towards other YouTubers who include these in their empties. And it's only because there's like 20 of them. They're like, oh, there's this one. Oh, there's this one. Oh, there's it. Face masks. That's all it is, face masks. I have more face masks, but I'm not going to be that bitch right now. I ain't going to be her for your sake. I'm not going to be her. Okay. I just have a few of them. So eye mask, Exuviance, um, intensive eye treatment. I purchased these with like this little box. It was like a little skincare box. There's two of them. It came with like 10 masks. I do quite like those masks. The thing, though, with eye masks, because I have another one. There's a Shiseido um, eye mask. This one is the Power Brightening Mask. Wait, is this an eye mask? No, this was a regular mask. I thought it was an eye mask because I have a bunch of Shiseido eye masks, too. The thing with eye masks, or uh, just masks in general, is I feel like they make your skin look real fucking good when you take it off, but then, like, within an hour, your skin just looks like what it did before you put the mask on and feels kind of pointless. <laughs> There's very few masks out there that I feel like actually fuck with your skin and actually do something for it. Uh, this Shiseido one, I'm not super sure I remember if this one was all that good. I don't recall it like brightening my skin, but the thing with eye masks is that I feel in my heart. Excuse me. Excuse me. Anyways, as I was saying, 
every new eye mask that I try, I feel in my heart, this is it. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the one that takes all this away. It's gonna be the one that takes all those little lines and stuff out from under my eyes. It's not, it's not. So there's that. So those were nice. And you know, when I take it off, I'm like, oh my God, I don't have wrinkles. And then like 10 minutes go by and they come back. So every eye mask I've ever tried, that's, that's what that does. Speaking of eye masks, I have another one. This is the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Two-Step Eye Kit. I only use the first step. I don't know what the dilly or what is involved, involved, that's not the word, incorporated into this like Yes to Cucumbers line, but everything I have ever tried from this line has burnt the entire fuck out of my face. Like I have tried like the entire face mask from this line and it burnt the holy shit out of my face. And then there's another one that maybe it's like the cucumber thing because I feel like there's a mask by Shea Moisture that has like cucumbers in it too that like fucks with my face. But I put these masks, which by the way, they are very oddly shaped. They're like, they like go under your eyes and that it almost looks like a real fat Nike symbol, but like not in like an eye mask way. I don't know how to explain it. I wish I would have kept them. But this one, the bottom one is for dark circles, which I do not have. So I was not willing to sacrifice the burn yet again <laughs> to see if it took my dark circles away because I don't have any takeaway. So there's that. The last mask that I have are these Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Masks that I got out of a BoxyCharm. I mean, they were... All right. All right. I mean, if the Yolo bitch or Yoli bitch or whatever the hell her name is wants to come up in my house and give me a facial and put the Tatcha mask on my face, yeah, then I might agree that, oh yes, those are quite nice, but I mean, they don't really, I didn't find that they did anything any other face mask doesn't do, you know what I mean? Number seven, beautiful skin. Whoa, oh, dude, really? <laughs> It like went clear across the room, BRB. Number seven, <laughs> beautiful skin, day cream, dry, very dry skin. The only reason why I got this, I mean, it's like, the only reason why I got it is because it was the cheapest of like the Boots number seven uh, skincare line and I just used it to mix my TCA peel in. These dogs are really fucking with me today, girl. Really fucking with me today. Really? I have purchased this on multiple occasions and it, I, I do the same thing with it every time. Either I mix a lactic acid with it or I mix a TCA acid with it or whatever, what have you. But the reason why I buy this is because I know that the ingredients in like the number seven line, that that skincare, that particular skincare has like really nice ingredients in it. It doesn't break me out and it feels really nice on the skin. So I've purchased multiples of these, um, but not because it's good, <laughs> if that makes sense. Next up is a Bosha, um, what does this say? I can't really read it because it's like white. Two part gel and cream, deep hydration, moisturizer. This is the Subaki Swirl from their Subaki line. I actually got this at TJ Maxx. Um, it's not even empty, but I'm throwing it the fuck away because it broke me the fuck out, <laughs> like really, really bad. And I think I had maybe put this in like a products I regret purchasing video or something like that, or maybe um, as an unfavorite and favorites video. And there were a couple of you guys said that this like whole Subaki line broke you out too. So there must be something in there. Fuck's a little skin girl. So she gone. I have a skincare oil with dog hair in it. I told you dog hair just like engulfs my life. Everywhere it goes, dog hair, dog hair, dog hair. I have like 32 lint brushes just like sprawled around the house. It's always the hair of the dogs. Sweep my house seven times a day. Just can't get rid of the dog hair. And we're thinking about getting a third dog. Like, who am I? What's wrong with you, bitch? Vitamin Boost Night Oil. Who is this by? Province Beauty, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Province Beauty. It looks like this here. I got this at TJ Maxx. Y'all know a bitch loves some TJ Maxx skincare. This was pretty good as far as like facial oils go. I always get my facial oils at TJ Maxx because facial oil is oil. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't find it necessary to overpay for oil. Like all these big brands that have like oils and stuff, like, um, oh, what, what brand is that? What brand is that? Damn it, I can't think of what it is. Some high-end high, high -end skincare brand. And they have a rose hip seed oil and it's rose hip seed oil 
ingredients are as follows rose hip seed oil and that shit's like 80 bucks i'm like mm, i'll go to tj maxx give me some motherfucking rose hip seed oil where the ingredients include i think but rose hip seed oil for like less than ten dollars thanks veronica next up it or should i yeah let's break it off between skincare and makeup because this is actually kind of a part of makeup yeah let's do that so next thing i have is the kate somerville exfoliate this was real good i loved it uh to the point where i scraped the entire fucking tube out praying and hoping for more every night this product is not only a physical exfoliant but it's also a chemical exfoliant so basically it's like a little wash and it's got little beads in it you put it on your face kind of like physically exfoliate your face and then you leave it on for like a minute or two you can feel the burn so this has chemical acids in it chemical acids this has like alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids in it. So it is really good for your skin, girl. The only reason I have not purchased this as of yet is because I could not find it at my Ulta. But I was doing inventory the other day and I had seen it in our impulse section, which is like the little aisle of doom at the beginning of the store. I was like looking for something down in like the back stock of that part and I found a little baby one and I had meant to buy it, but I have forgotten. So I will be repurchasing this, Veronica. Next is something I will also be repurchasing, Veronica, and it is the Mario Badescu Skincare herbal hydrating serum this stuff is really nice and it's really nice under makeup it it's like i'm sure there's like ass loads of glycerin in here it's probably yep it's the second ingredient after water um i don't know what's in here i don't necessarily think that it is benefiting you in a way that it's going to like transform your skin but being the dry ass crusty ass bitch that i am it does feel quite nice up on my dry ass crusty ass skin on to the makeup portion of this video first thing is the cover effects illuminating setting spray this was so nice and y'all know why this was nice i mean you ain't gonna see why it was nice in this particular example but the sprayer on this is amazing i'm actually not gonna throw this away i think i'm gonna wash it out and keep the bottle because the sprayer is so nice i liked what it did for my skin and i liked the effect that it had but i don't think i like it enough to pay like it's either like 30 dollars. it's between 30 and 40 dollars there is no setting spray that I like enough to pay full price of $30 to $40 for. Okay, let's just put that out into the world. But it is really nice. Essentially, you could just fucking take some Fix Plus, dump it in here, and put some like Makeup Forever Starlet Powder in here and probably get the same effect. I think I might try that, actually, now that I think about it. So I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm gonna keep it for the bottle. But it was really nice while I had it. I got it in a boxy charm or something, I think. That's why I have it. Next up is a foundation and it is the it cosmetics cc cream in the color fair this is my all-time favorite foundation of all time that's a lie actually the it cosmetics cc cream plus illumination is my favorite foundation of all time this one is a very very close runner-up so just fair this is fair this is like an old tube from when i was fair i went tanning in the tanning bed this summer i know don't clock me it's bad for you uh cancer but i didn't do it that much i didn't do, i only went for like a few weeks maybe like a month or two uh just to get like a little base tan before we went to florida because i didn't want to burn the fuck out of myself while i was in florida and ever since this is the shade that i used to be okay during the winter time Ever since I had done that and went in the tanning bed, it's like my skin had darkened up or something. I don't know. It's crazy weird science. My skin darkened up and now I am like a light in the It Cosmetic CC Cream and it matches me perfect. And the fair used to actually be a little bit too dark. So something's going on with my body, girl. Maybe it's like hormones or something. But this, I mean, y'all know if you are on the YouTubes, like this stuff is like gold next up next i gotta stop saying next up girl i'm just gonna say the product i'm just gonna say it because i'm gonna annoy the fuck out of myself when i go at it so nyx uh matte liquid liner this is literally like the best matte liquid liner of life because it's got a little brush tip and it's so so easy if you or somebody stop focusing on my face see the little brush tip right there i'm getting rid of it because as you can see it's like pretty well is it yeah 
it's pretty dried up. It's, it's usually got like a lot of product on it. Um, but if you're somebody that has trouble with eyeliner, I would try this because it works so freaking well. The brush tip is like so precise and it's so black and matte. It's so nice. And it's only $7.99 maybe. $8.99, something like it's less than $10. I know that. CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for combo skin. I honestly have no fucking clue why I bought this. I mean, it's like almost full. I'm pretty sure I didn't like it because I felt like it matted me out. Maybe I bought it when I was like oily or something, but I, I just, I, 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 I don't know why I have it. <laughs> or maybe I was like planning on like doing, uh, maybe, what? Maybe I was going to do like a drugstore video and use this for the primer. I don't know. Either way, I don't like it. It's almost full, but I'm pretty sure it's real fucking old. <laughs> so we're throwing it away. Clinique Fit uh, Workout 24 Hour Mascara. This is the only mascara, literally like hand to glob, the only mascara. High end wise, if you guys just watched my last video, or I don't know when I'm uploading this, so maybe. If you have watched the video where I said makeup I won't buy anymore, maybe I'll put it in a card like a real YouTuber. Could you imagine? Would you die if the card was there right now, Veronica? Would you die? You would, wouldn't you? That I actually remember. Okay, so um, this is the only mascara I have ever purchased multiples of uh, high-end wise. Y'all know I've proclaimed for years I don't buy high-end mascara. If you see me with high-end mascara, it's because I either got it at a deep-seated discount or I got it for gratis from work. I got my first one of these. I, this is like my third or fourth one too, honestly. Uh, I got my first one of these for gratis from work and I liked it so much because, um, and I'm a little sad that I like proclaimed that I wasn't gonna buy my mascara anymore because like pulling this out of here reminded me of how much I love this. But the brush is like real skinny and small like this. And it's so fucking nice for your lower lashes. If you are that bitch like me and you are on that lifelong journey of the eminent struggle of lower line transfer from your mascara. God, I can't get my words out today. If you have lower lash line transfer from your mascara, you need to try this because, and y'all know, I don't recommend high end shit like mascara or eyeliner unless it's like balls to the wall, like you're fucking with it. Y'all know this about me. But this does not smudge on your lower lash line. This um, entire line is specifically designed, now my battery's dying, this has been a great video. <laughs> uh, this entire line is specifically designed for working out. So it does not smudge, is not transfer. I'm pretty sure it's like a tubing mascara. So, oh, it's so good, that sucks, I'm not gonna buy it anymore. But I don't wear mascara on my lower lash line anyways. I just gave up, I gave up, girl. I don't know about y'all, if y'all got any like, drugstore uh ones that don't transfer on your lash line they all do on me even this one like especially uh since i have become so dry because when my under eyes get very very dry they just look creepy i look like i'm fucking 90 years old so i've been putting all the hydration under my eyes so it don't matter what mascara it is like i want my under eyes to be wet because the wetter they are the better they look so this was good. This it, it was good. It had worked for a while. It was good. Let me, okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up about it now. Okay, moving on. I had to put my uh, charger and my camera on. White's back. He's back. Uh, can I just say before continuing on, that was really stupid of me <laughs> to spray that cover effect shit because now it's like all over my floor, which is awesome. Okay, now oh this is kind of part part of skincare. Whoops, I fucked up. Uh, needles no mo by Dr. Brandt. No more bagage, no more baggage, needles no more. I do not like this. This is called an eye depuffing gel. And the reason why I don't like this is because you cannot put makeup under this, or I mean over this. <laughs> when you put this on, it's like, ooh, and it dries. You ever see those videos up on the Facebook where like, it's like this like 90 year old man and this lady's like tap, 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 put some kind of cream under his eyes and then she's taking something and fanning it off, fanning it off. And then within like five minutes, you see like all his wrinkles disappear. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. But you can't wear makeup over top of that. So that's essentially what this is. I saw Kathleen Lights like when 
the boxy because this came in a boxy charm when the boxy charm uh came and she did a video on it she was like oh i didn't see it made that much of a difference i don't know how the hell she put this under her makeup and it looked flawless probably because she has young fresh baby skin and like everything looks good on young people but i, di I didn't care for it it's like that thing and i'm, I'm just gonna pitch it and then i have one two oh here's another clinique mascara I think I only have two, right? Let's hope so. No, is that three? No. Uh, two MAG Prep and Prime highlighters in the color Light Boost. I use this during the summertime. I absolutely love the entire fuck out of this, even though it's a total ripoff because you don't get that much product. But even though you don't get that much product, it does seem to last for a really long time. So I have found that I can stretch one of these out for like an entire summer. Maybe not since there's two empties in here, <laughs> but this empties is, oh girl. Um, I can make these last for like an entire summer and it's, I don't know if there is like shimmer in this or something, but it just looks so good. I like to, if I'm tanned, then I'll just use this on its own and not concealer. Wait, are these both light boosters? One light. No, they're both light boosts. I do have this in light too, and it's a really, really nice formula. I love the formulation of the MAC Prep and Prime highlighting pens. They also have skin skin tone colors now, and nobody talks about these, and they're so nice. It's such like a glowy, pretty look on your face. That was not the best description. <laughs> it's such a glowy, pretty look on your face. <laughs> it's, it's just, it looks good, girl, okay? And I'm throwing two of them away because they're empty. We have the clear water resistant brow eyebrow gel by the brow gal i got this in a boxy charm and used the actual fuck out of this it is look it, i mean it's like the rye girl i used it the fuck up this is such a good brow gel i just cannot justify paying what is like 18 dollars or something like that, like that i think it is I cannot justify paying $18 for a brow gel. I just can't, I can't. I'll just throw some soap in my brows, or some hairspray in my brows, or something. I just can't justify paying $18 for a brow gel. I just can't, I can't, okay? That being said though, it is one of the best brow gels I've ever used, just saying. Next I have this, what even, oh. I was like, what even is this? I thought it was lipstick. This is the Wonder Beauty, Wonder Beauty, Wonder Bra. <laughs> I don't know why I always feel the need to say Wonder Brow. It just, I, I, it's in my head. Okay, uh, Wonder, which is different from Wonder Brow, because I believe in a previous video I asked you guys that, and you're like, no, but it's just different. Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. This did absolutely nothing. Got this brush thing, got it in a boxy charm per use, and it did dick for my lashes. Like nothing, no lengthening, no volumizing. It, it did nothing outside of like just making my lashes black and it wasn't that black to boot. Rimmel London Lasting Finish Primer um, increases foundation wear for up to eight hours. This There's stuff in here, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting rid of it because it is probably about five years old. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? Hold on, let me look at it. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting rid of this. I got this when I was oily probably three or four years ago and I did a review of this and then the Rimmel 24 hour, 25 hour, I remember that from the video. But I got this and I got the foundation and I felt like they were just so fucking glowy at the time because I was oily at the time so I've not always had dry skin. I had oily skin um, like three or four years ago, five years ago maybe. My skin used to be like super, super oily and I hated it, but it's, whoa, <laughs> it's so old at this point. I cannot justify putting it on my face, but it's really nice. It kind of reminds me of like MAC strobe cream or something. It's got like a little bit of iridescence to it. I honestly don't even know if they fucking make shit anymore, girl. Hey, to get the ball a little bit more rolling, a little bit further along than what we are, I'm gonna clump all these mascaras together because these are all mascaras. So. First is L'Oreal Telescopic in the color Carbon Black. This is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I love it so much. It's so freaking good. I've heard a lot of people talk a lot of shit about this mascara, but dude, I love it. I love the brush. I just love how it like shoots your lashes to the sky and gives you like long spidery lashes. If you do not like real long spidery, oh look, this is why. 
I got rid of this one is because, <laughs> not because it's out, because the brush was like so fucked up, I like couldn't, see what I mean? I can't get it back in there. We're, we're just gonna, just gonna throw it out like that. Next is Lash Sensational Curvitude Waterproof Maybelline. Um, I don't remember a lot about this, but I must not have liked it because it does not, or it did not leave a lasting impression on all my memory, even though y'all know I got short term memory loss. But I think it was just okay because I remember the regular Lash Sensational was so fucking good. I should buy that again because I remember loving that mascara so much this is not that one this is the curvitude one and i, I don't think i really cared for this oh it's actually getting a little bright Get a little bit brought out girl next up is the tar tardiest uh mascara looks like this i'm pretty sure this probably came in a boxy charm or for gratis i did not like it at all i thought the brush it's a silicone brush but because like the silicone spark sparks <laughs> spikes are so far apart it just like put all the product on your lashes and like just i just did not like it i just felt like i had so much mascara on like when i put this on and like not big enough of an effect to put up with that much mascara on my lashes you know what i'm saying got two uh lancome sills boosters these are the whip girl these primers are literally like the best mascara primer of life still one of the only this is another one of like the only high-end mascaras uh that i actually purchased myself and i never these two i got for gratis but i would never pay 28 dollars, even though i love it and it's so good and it works so fucking good girl i cannot justify paying 28 dollars for full size so i just buy these little baby ones for like 10 or 15. even though i got these for gratis i would buy the little baby one for 10 or 15 because it lasts forever like i can stretch one of these little baby ones out for like probably a good two to three months and then the last one is the uh it cosmetic superhero mascara i do like this mascara i've never purchased it on my own i've gotten it for gratis i've gotten it for gwps um, this one is just like hella dried out. That's why I'm getting rid of it. But I kept this in my bathroom. So on days where like I had to run to the store or I was running to the gym or something like that, there are certain specific items that I'll keep in my bathroom. Like I will keep like a CC cream in there. I'll keep a brow gel and I'll keep a mascara just for when I'm like in a big ass hurry and I like slap some shit on my face before I go to the store or to the gym or whatever, you know? This was one of those that sat in there and I do like the formula of it. I just, again, with the whole high end mascara thing, there are ones at the drugstore, AKA uh, Jordana Best Lash Extreme that are just as good as these. Oh, and the Essence Lash Princess is really close to that one too. Two. Two Wet n Wild uh, cushion contours. I am just about tapped out on my third one. This is my all time, all time favorite cream bronzer of life. Girl, it's so fucking natural. I cannot say enough praises about this cream bronzer. It's so nice. It's like a cushion contour, <laughs> like what it's called. But it's like one of those like cushion, um, what is that called? Foundation. One of those cushion foundations. I don't use like the little dip, 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 like the little pad or whatever it comes with. I just use my beauty blender. It is the most natural looking, glowy, youthful, gorgina, gorgina contour that I have ever graced upon my face. And I love it. And that's why I went through two of them. Oh, lies. Three. Oh, no, this isn't that. Highlight Illuminator, uh, Went Wild Mega Cushion Highlighter. I think I tried this because I like the contour so much. This even still has a pad in it. This sucked. I did not like it at all. I felt like it. Once you put it on your face, like when you start putting it on, it looks really good. But then once you like start tapping it in, it just kind of blends away. So I don't think there is like enough highlightiness in here. Um, it's okay if you like a very natural highlight, but... If not, yeah, didn't really care. Oh, I guess I've got a couple of skincare things left in here that I didn't realize. Brows, two little brow gels, uh, Maybelline Brow Precise Vibe. <laughs> that was like, I tried to say it and it became all one word, didn't it? Okay, let's try it again. Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer Brow Gel. Uh, this is really good. The, brush is so fucking weird but in 
such a good way. Like, it's this weird little paddle that, like, kind of, kind of resembles, like, a sweet potato or something like that. But it's so good. I love this stuff. I think I am going to purchase this again because I am, like, on the hunt for a brow gel. So I may just purchase this one again. Um, who is this? L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. This was another really good brow gel. It, I don't feel like, and even, you know, with the Maybelline one, I don't feel like... I personally like a really stiff brow gel. Sometimes I just take Tim's hair gel and use that as brow gel. Like I want my brows to like stay there because I have like very long wiry eyebrows and it's hard to, you know, if I like mess with my hair or something because my brow hairs are so long that they like move all over the place. So I do like a really stiff one. These two are not that, but they are really good on their own. Uh, to fill in your brows. This one was just as good as that one and the brush I do quite like. It's not too small, it's not too big, it's really nice. This is the real deal, like y'all about to see the realest of the real, ain't no motherfucking beauty guru busting this out. This is the Tarte eyelash uh, glue. <laughs> It's so fucked up. There's like hair on it and shit. Obviously there's no question as to why I'm getting rid of this. But in case you were wondering, that girl is dried up. So <laughs> she going in the bin. Next up is another, this one's actually empty too. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer in the Dewy. I really, really like this. I don't really like fox with face primers. Um, but this is very, very similar to, I, I, I don't fuck with face primers in the way of them extending the wear of your makeup. I really don't think they do. I just don't. But this has a really, really nice glow to it. So um, it really reminds me, I feel like this is like a dupe of, oh, there is a little bit left in there. This is like a dupe of the uh, Becca, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. See how it just like makes it look really glowy and pretty. The Becca, um, the fucking Becca liquid highlighters. I don't know what Becca calls them, but the Becca, Becqua. I always want to call Becca, Becqua. I don't know why. But the Becca liquid highlighters, those are like these. And I have like a ton of those just from getting them from Gratis and GWPs and whatever else. So once I'm out of those, I probably will purchase this again because I do really like it. And it's only like $3.99. Another primer is the uh, Smashbox, uh, what is it called? Photo Finish Foundation Pore Minimizing. Pore Minimizing Primer by Smashbox. When I was oily, bitch, I loved the fuck out of this primer. It was literally the only primer on the face of this earth other than the Murad, um, oh, it's not even a primer. It's the Murad Mattifying Face Lotion or something along the lines of that. It's got like an SPF of 30 in it. Murad oil-free mattifying lotion, something like that. It's like $40 and it comes in a big giant tube. That and this were the only primers I had ever found that would keep my oils from coming through throughout the day. So if you are an oily beast, dude, this is like where it's at. And it fills pores. I mean, pore filling to me is essentially pointless because you put it on and then you swipe a bunch of makeup over top of it and it on my face doesn't really do anything because I have craters for pores. So if you don't, maybe it will for you because you're lucky. And then one last primer correct, yes, was just a little Becca First Light Priming Filter. I like this primer not to extend the wear of my makeup or anything, but just because it adds a lot, a lot of hydration. It's a very, very hydrating primer. That's why I like this. So I have a big one and I'm honestly just about out of the big one too because it's I, that is like one of those things that sometimes if I'm feeling like dry I'll just like walk up in my makeup room and just put it on just because it's so thin but so hydrating you know what I mean oh I guess I'll do this thing that I've been holding in my hand for the past five minutes Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer this is hands down one of the nicest concealers if you like a light coverage concealer if you are <laughs> let's be real not that fucking fair or not that fucking dark uh thanks becca or if you have really dry wrinkly under eyes dude this bitch will be your best friend because it is so glowy and nice looking and youthful the lightest shade of this cannot highlight me during the winter that is why i have not purchased this um 
Will I purchase it again in the future? Possibly, because I really like it. This and the Bare Minerals Serum Concealer, those two concealers are so nice if you got crusty ass 90 year old lady under eyes like I do. Just, just throwing that out there. Oh, we're about down to the nitty gritty, girl. I got an eyeliner in here. This is the NYX Keeping It Tight. Um, I have went through like five or six of these. I just haven't put them in here. Like I said, this was old from my old house. Uh, this Keeping It Tight eyeliner is amazing. I love it. I hope they never get rid of it. NYX is so bad for like, get, whoa, what was that? Something just fell the liner <laughs> but apparently there was some left in there because it fell out but this is like the tip is so freaking skinny obviously i can't roll it up now because it it fell out girl who is it it cosmetics has a liner similar to this but it's like 20 bucks 18 or 20 bucks um these just came out like over the past six months or so god i hope they don't get rid of them i really hope they don't get rid of them it is so nice to just get up in there especially if you're somebody with hooded eyes i would definitely suggest getting this to tight line with because you can get right in between your lashes it's just so nice just so nice girl i love it okay the last makeup -y thing that i have is this catrice strobe to glow highlighter stick um this i just it just didn't do shit like i mean it just didn't do shit look see what i mean and it's like real dry and like and it's not dry because i've had it this isn't that old it's just it's like one of those cream to powder formulas that just are not that great girl and i just didn't care for it, it wasn't that good i bought like a couple of catrice things just to try the brand out and uh definitely regret buying this because <laughs> it ain't that good and then the last two things i have are one is measurable differences hyaluronic acid I'm not sure if I got this from TJ Maxx or I got it from a boxy charm. Either TJ Maxx or from a boxy charm. That's the only place I've ever gotten measurable differences uh, skincare from. But this was really nice. It was just hyaluronic acid, it kept you real hydrated and stuff. It was real nice. And then the last thing I have is just my TCA peel, which I am out of. And I will be doing a future video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? It's not a good film today, girl. It really ain't. Um, I will be doing future video on as soon as I get uh, more and get my skin acclimated to doing, I'm not going to do a TCA, I don't fuck with TCA because it's too much downtime, but as soon as I get some more chemical peels, um, then we will do a chemical peel video, I promise you guys, it's coming, it's not going to be for a few weeks yet, but it, it will be there, it will be girl, I promise okay so makeup artist choice website is where i get this at i will leave the website down below if i don't tell me in the comments that i forgot and i will put it down there all right that's it it's it for my favorites nope it's not a favorites what fucking video did i just do an empties it's it for my empties okay so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna take off and outro um uh, <laughs> I never know what to say in an outro. Just like subscribe and like the video and stuff if you do. Yeah. Let me know. Uh, I always want to ask you guys stuff so I can talk to you in the comments. <laughs> uh, let me know if you guys, what, what are some products that you guys continue to go through? That's what I want to know. Also, would you like to see a video? Because that just, boop, maybe boop, 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 video popped in my head. Would you like to see a video of makeup products that i continue to repurchase over and over and over again would you like to see that video please let a bitch know in the comments thanks veronica okay i'm gonna peace out and i want to go i just gotta cut it off so like subscribe and like and do all the things that you do and that's it okay now i'm gonna throw this shit away i am out see crest out i will get you guys in my next one bye